Hey everybody, this is Brett, and today I'll tell you about my first chiropractic experience. And it was with this rookie chiropractor, a young guy that had just started his business in this office next to the health food store. In fact, it was like in the health food store down the hall in the back. And so he figured that obviously that would be a good place for him to build business. And somehow I was connived into getting some chiropractic adjustments from him. I don't remember exactly how that happened. But I'd never had it done before. And so we're talking about a rookie chiropractor working on a, a newbie chiropractic recipient. And anyways, the first couple of times that I went, he, you know, got me into a position and then he <clears throat> did a really hard shove on my back. And it just took the breath out, out of me. And I was like, <laughs> you know? and, and he said, well, just keep coming back. We'll get it to crack. I can tell that there, you've got like a big crack in the middle of your back, you know, that needs to crack. <laughs> and so like on the third time that I went, that's exactly what happened. It was a big old, a big old like stuck right in the middle of my back crack. And, um, and he was like, ah, yeah, it came out. And I was like, holy crap. <laughs> and uh, he also had this thing that he'd run up and down your back. It had rollers on it and heat sensors. And it was connected to his computer. And it would tell him exactly where there were heat spots in my back. And I thought that was very interesting and probably uh, a telling tale of where my back needed to crack, you know? Because whenever you've got that in your back, you know, a, a place like that that needs to crack, it's going to create inflammation and more heat. And I didn't really understand that like I do now. But in any case, all of that techno yada yada and having a person just give a big hard shove on your back like that, it's not near as good as that. That little simple, like, uh, look at how simple that is. Look at what it is, what it, what it really is. Look at the depths of what that really is. This is my first wooden roller. A woodworker way back before I had woodworking tools to make these made this for me and I've replaced the rubber on the outside with with um, wool felt filled with liquid latex because <laughs> I like it extra hard I don't sell them like that but um, it's very very simple steel wood felt and liquid latex rubber, natural rubber. That's all it is. And then it's got a little rubber cap on the, on the top. But that little tool has given me an amazing amount of relief over many, many, many years. And it's not done yet. Like, you tell me when that's going to stop functioning. When is that going to stop working? Is it like my car? that has all these technical parts in it that can break at any time and then I have to go searching all over at the junkyard to try and find one like I was yesterday. <laughs> no! This is about the simplest and most awesome and amazing and effective tool that you can buy. And you, know, you don't have to keep going back over and over driving to a chiropractor to pay him for what they've created as a racket okay so they figured something out and then they're like hey how can we turn this into a profession chiropractic and then people come regularly and pay with or, or they pay their insurance and then they keep coming back over and over again and we just keep racking it up on a HICFA 1500 form and banking it and chiropractors have made billions and billions of dollars off this industry and people feel like, wow, these guys, I really feel better. I really feel better when I leave there, you know. But it doesn't have to be such a technical menagerie. It's not like, like, you don't have to go 
to a school for years and years and years to be able to crack your own back. <laughs> All you need <laughs> is a freaking roller. And when I first invented that, people were really skeptical. They were like, oh no, I'm sticking with my chiropractor. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they were like, uh, now that's dangerous. They were telling me that that's dangerous. I just rolled on my back with that thing a few minutes ago for the umpteenth millionth time in the last 10 years. I'm telling you, it's the best damn thing on earth. That, <laughs> the dude is, the dude is blowing out there. <laughs> <laughs> there is an occupation for everyone, isn't there? <laughs> but I make, my occupation is making these wooden spine rollers an all-natural massage tool that you should own. I have 20 of them left. I sold one of them to somebody the other day. Right now, you can get one with the coupon code at the checkout page on my website. If you put R-O-L-L-E-R, -L -L -E roller in small letters, then you'll get a 15% discount. That's pretty good. She saved like $18, $19 the other day. If you buy a bigger one, you'll save more. They're built for different size people. They're different widths. So the wider they are, the wider they are, the more surface area and the bigger of a person. And so, um, they're an amazing massage tool that will probably last you your whole life and then you can give it to your kids and then it might last them their lives. I, I don't know. I, how long does solid hardwoods last and steel? The only thing that I can think that might eventually wear out is the inner part that where it's drilled for the axle. I could actually put a steel insert in that, but it doesn't seem like I need to. <laughs> it doesn't seem necessary. But in any case, the link for these is in the description box below. And, and you don't have to go to a rookie chiropractor at the health food store or anywhere else. You can just stay at home. If we get locked down again, you'll be all good to crack your and massage your back. It's not just a cracker. It massages your back amazingly. So that was my first chiropractic experience and my millionth advertisement. <laughs> Thanks for joining me, everybody. Bye.